Climate means everybody is trying to catch carbon dioxide molecules in the air. See, the most important thing is soil. And the most important phenomena that's happening here is photosynthesis. It is because of this photosynthesis we have twenty-one percent oxygen level. It is because of that you and me as a life exist. Even in the evolutionary scheme of things, this only happened because of the photosynthesis, which is essentially soil-inspired process. But somehow the whole narrative in the world has shifted only towards certain industry and whatever. Yes, that is also a significant issue, I'm not saying it's not an issue. But without addressing soil, you're not going to address climate change or global warming. If people don't understand what I'm saying, today is a, you know, pre-monsoon, it's a cool day. But even now, you can check if you want, you just touch this soil and see where there is no vegetation, how it is. Touch where there is some grass, how it is, the temperature. And go into a crop like this and touch how it is. Go under the trees and touch how it is. There could be a range of eight to twelve degrees centigrade difference from just plain land to grassy lands to tree-based lands, this will be the difference. This is climate change and uh, fifty-four percent of the world's soil is de seriously ploughed. Another eighteen, twenty percent is semi-ploughed off and on, a uh, seasonal kind of thing. So together nearly seventy-one percent of the land is farmed or ploughed. Four point two percent is paved because of infrastructure and urban centers. So together, seventy-six percent of the land is either paved or ploughed. That's where the problem is. If you don't address that, it's not going to work. And above all, agricultural land is that land or that piece of geography where human hand is tending to it on a daily basis. If you can't uh, turn this around, what will you turn around? Empty talk, everybody wants to fix the rainforest. I'm not saying that should not be protected, but if we don't go there, it'll be fine. You don't have to do anything about the rainforest. If you don't step into it, rainforest has managed itself for millions of years, it'll continue to manage itself. The important thing is, whatever human beings need, for some of the things like timber, honey, resins and other things, we are going into the forest. Forest produce, the term forest produce must go out of our language. Whatever we need, we must grow on our agricultural lands. Leave the forest alone because there is no more forest left to exploit. Forest is not rich enough for you to industrialize it and exploit it in terms of timber or whatever else. So, this is very important to understand what we need. Whatever we need must be grown by us because we've already exploited over seventy-five percent of the earth's land. So we must grow what we need, we have no business to go to the forest to take it.